Hello students, I hope you are all fine and in good health. Uh, in my previous audio presentation, I ended with a discussion that is going on on a dining table during the breakfast time between the father and the daughter, that is the Iron Master and Edla Will Manson. And we get to know, as I told you, that the Iron Master decided to look after the welfare of his old regimental comrade. Now, the continuation of the dialogue can be seen in the very first uh, paragraph of page number 39 so let me continue it's a queer queer is a very old english word queer actually means strange it is queer that things have gone downhill with him as badly as that said the daughter last night i did not think there was anything about him to show that he had once been an educated man now edla uh, had a conversation with his father and his father also was having a conversation with his daughter Edla Wilmanson. Now Edla told to his father that uh, you are saying that he is your old regimental comrade but uh, the way the behavior the mannerism that I saw I I am a bit doubtful about exactly what he is because uh, uh, there is no glimpses in him that once he was in the army or in the military and once he was a very educated man because I haven't seen any glimpses in him yet. You must have patience, my little girl, said the father. As soon as he gets clean and dressed up, you will see something different. Now, listening to it, obviously the Iron Master told her that have some patience, let him be fresh and well dressed. When he will be fresh and well dressed, he will find something different in him. Last night he was naturally embarrassed. The tramp manners will fall away from him with the tramp clothes. Okay, the Iron Master came to a conclusion that perhaps my friend was a bit embarrassed. He was uncomfortable. He haven't expected me nor he expected you. But don't worry, the tramp clothes, the tramp manners will also pass by or the tram manners will also fall away along with his tram clothes. Nothing to worry about it. Just as he said this, the door opened. Now, as I already told you, it is a big shocking moment. It will be rather to say precisely, it will be a big shocking moment for the Iron Master. So let's see. Just as he said this, the door opened and the stranger entered. Yes, now he was truly clean and well dressed. The valet had bathed him. Not only that, the valet had cut his hair and shaved him. Moreover, he was dressed in a good-looking suit of clothes, which belonged to the Iron Master. He wore a white shirt and a starched collar and whole shoes. That means now he is well dressed, wearing a suit. Even this suit actually belongs to Edla Wilmanson's father, that is Iron Master. But it will be a shocking moment of revelation for the Iron Master. But although his guest was now so well groomed, the Iron Master did not seem pleased because uh, this is not his friend, he realized it. He looked at him with puckered brow and it was easy to understand or easy to make out uh, that when he had seen the strange fellow in the uncertain reflection from the furnace, he might have made a mistake. But that now, when he stood there in broad daylight, it was impossible to mistake him for an old acquaintance. Now, uh, he, this is the shocking moment of revelation. Now, Iron Master, when he saw late at night this man, this strange fellow, uh, sleeping near the furnace, he at that time thought him to be his old regimental comrade by the name of Nils Olaf. Now, when the same person came, well bathed and shaved and wearing a suit that actually belonged to him, now it seems that the shocking revelation, it has been finally exposed that this man is an imposter. This man is not his own friend, Nils Olaf. This man is actually an imposter. Now, let's see after this shocking revelation, what exactly or what step the Iron Master will take. Uh, see, it's uh, the stranger, what does this mean? He thundered. The stranger made no attempt to dissimulate. He saw at once that the splendor had come to an end because now the Iron Master got furious. He looked at the stranger with puckered brow, realized it in broad daylight that this is not his friend. 
thought this man to be an imposter and told him that what is this all about but the stranger the rat trap seller as we all know by him by this time he kept quiet he haven't said any single thing then after a pause he told it's not my fault sir it is not my mistake i never pretended pretend that is the root word dear students pretend means to act falsely i never pretended to be anything but a poor trader and i pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the forge but no harm has been done at worst i can put on my rags again and go away now the rat trap seller he went on defending him by saying that no harm has been done i was sleeping in the forge you persuaded me to come to your manor house later your daughter persuaded me uh to come to your manor house now i came i am dressed but the worst thing that can no harm has been done i can still wear my old clothes and i can go away as soon as possible if you permit well said the iron master hesitating a little it was not quite honest either you must admit that and i should not be surprised if the sheriff that is the local police officer would like to have something to say in the matter now i won't be surprised i'm calling the cops or rather i'm calling the sheriff he like to inquire about you because you are dishonest you could have resisted on your part but your activity on your part was also not good either so i'm calling out the local sheriff might be uh, he will interrogate you on this matter the tramp took a step forward and struck the table with his fist now the tramp now he realized he is now totally frustrated he realized that he is now already a victim he realized that already he is a miserable prey that has went inside the rat trap step by step and so disappointed he became after realizing this philosophical concept that he created on his own in his own mind he banged the table with his fist now i am going to tell you mr iron master how things are he said this whole world is nothing but a big rat trap all the good things that are offered to you are nothing but cheese rinds and bit of pork set out to drag drag actually means lure lure or dear students you can use the term attract also drag a poor fellow into trouble and if the sheriff comes now and locks me up for this then you mr iron master must remember that a day may come when you yourself may want to get a big piece of pork and then you will get caught in the trap now this is a philosophical ideology that the rat trap seller harbored for a long time when he used to plod along the lonely street this particular concept came to his mind because he went on cursing the world because of his unfortunate uh, st uh, state because of his life that was very miserable and very unfortunate now he told the iron master that once a day will come when you yourself will be lured or attracted by the big piece of pork actually it means the materialistic uh, luxuries and then you also will be in a trap just like me myself right now and if a sheriff comes definitely i will be locked up but i want to share it that we are all lured towards rat traps uh, the iron master began to laugh because it is of no use now because uh, it seems that he is very much eager to call the sheriff that was not so badly said my good fellow perhaps we should let the sheriff alone on christmas eve but now get out of here as fast as you can now finally the iron master was so furious and livid he told that okay that the sheriff will decide but if you want to save your skin it is better you go out at once from my manor house but just as the man was opening the door the daughter said i think he ought to stay with us today i don't want him to go and with that she went and closed the door now when the rat trap seller was about to open the door edla wilmanson came in between him and his father and requested his father that this man should not be allowed to go because he came during the christmas time he is their guest and he should not be allowed to go like this what in the world are you doing said the father the iron master was totally surprised that and he told edla wilmanson what in the world are you doing this man is a stranger he is an imposter 
and you are about to harbor him in the house during the Christmas time. What is the matter with you? The daughter stood there quite embarrassed and hardly knew what to answer. That morning she had felt so happy when she thought how homelike and Christmassy she was going to make things for the poor hungry wretch. Here the poor hungry wretch or that miserable man actually refers to the rat trap seller. She could not get away from the idea all at once. And that was why she had interceded for the vagabond. That was the reason she actually decided to, uh, decided to take the matter in her hands and decided to uh, speak out uh, in support of the vagabond. Because after a long time, someone came to their house because she and her father basically they had a lonely existence so she decided to do something for the vagabond she decided to prepare some foodstuffs for the vagabond so she interceded between her father and the vagabond i am thinking of this stranger here said the young girl he walks and walks the whole year long and there is probably not a single place in the whole country where he is welcome and can feel at home Wherever he turns, he is chased away. Always he is afraid of being arrested and cross-examined. I should like to have him enjoy a day of peace with us here. Just one in the whole year. Okay, so finally, this is the entire sum up or summation of the dialogue from the point of view of Edla Wilmanson. She wanted the rat trap seller to be in their house as a guest, as an honored guest, because throughout the entire year, According to Edla Wilmanson, uh, she was again spot on uh, in her overall take on this particular vagabond. And she told her father that throughout the entire year, this man used to roam around without a fixed home or without a fixed place to stay. And whenever and wherever he went within the whole country, he is not welcomed and uh, he is cross-examined. He is always scared or fear of being arrested. So if he can stay or if he can enjoy a day of peace with us here, what's wrong in there? The Iron Master mumbled something in his beard. He could not bring himself to oppose her, but finally uh, he can't actually oppose uh, his daughter. It was all a mistake of course, she continued. But anyway, I don't think we ought to chase uh, away a human being whom we have asked to come here and to whom we have promised Christmas cheer. Now, Edla Wilmanson further told her father that we invited him in our house to share the pleasures and the cheers of Christmas along with us. Now, being a, he is our guest, now it is not, uh, it is not convenient, on a, it, it won't be convenient on our part to send him away that won't be the case and that won't be the right decision. Uh, you do preach words than a parson. Parson means a church father, said the iron master. I only hope you won't have to regret this. Finally, he agreed. When Edla Wilmanson told that he is our guest, we invited him. Let him stay peacefully, if possible, for uh, in this house for the Christmas. Now, finally, the iron master agreed. And told her that uh, you preach sometimes uh, words than a person. That means uh, you preach in such a way as if you are a church father. But finally he told also to Edla Wilmanson that okay fine. When you are requesting we will allow him to stay in our house. But remember you should not regret this later. The young girl took the stranger by the hand and led him to the table. Now sit down and eat, she said, for she could see that a father had given in. Given in means had quitted. So finally, when she realized that her father had no other objections, but he only told that you should not regret about whatever you did related with this stranger or this imposter later. Now after saying it, maybe uh, his father also agreed. Uh, to allow the imposter or the rat trap seller to stay in their house and after that happened and after uh, he agreed as can be seen or felt by Edla Wilmanson by looking at his body language he she decided to take the uh, rat trap seller along with her uh, and then uh, she allowed him to sit on the table and have some food 
so this is the line now sit down and eat she said for she could see that a father had quitted or had given in so dear students i stop here in this audio presentation kindly go through it in my next audio presentation i will continue from the next paragraph of page number 40 thank you students thank you all